America's most innovative company for six years in a row, a titan in the American energy industry. Until... Guilty verdicts in the biggest case of corporate fraud in history. 38 counts of fraud and conspiracy. How are you feeling? How do you think? $70 billion gone. Over 20,000 jobs erased. 20 plus years of jail time. But here's what you don't know. Or rather, who? Lou. Hi. A decadent genius behind the curtain of Enron's rise and fall. Shadow CEO by day and flamboyant philanderer by night. A reverse Batman, if you will. Lou Pai's story begins far from the neon lights of Houston in the quiet classrooms of the University of Maryland. Here, a young Pai excelled in mathematics, displaying a great talent for numbers and economic theory. His academic achievements opened doors first to a position with the federal government at the SEC, and later to a notable role at Enron, where he quickly stood out as a cunning strategist. Yet beneath this veneer of a mathematical savant lay a restless spirit. Even as Pi climbed the corporate ladder, becoming one of Enron's top executives, his fascination with Houston's vibrant nightlife began to take root, setting the stage for the dual life he would lead. As Pi moved up the ranks at Enron, his extravagant lifestyle became more evident. He was a regular at Houston's high-end strip clubs, famous for his generous spending and flashy displays. Eventually, this behavior began to seep into his professional life. He began using Enron's assets for his own benefit, including frequent trips on the company jet for personal commuting and ordering expensive meals and entertainment for himself and his team. Such excess, straying far from his executive duties, started attracting unwanted attention and criticism and was soon prohibited personally by Chairman Ken Lay. As the Enron scandal unfolded, Lou Pai's controversial lifestyle inadvertently set him up for a timely departure. He cashed out roughly $250 million in Enron stock, a decision made just months before the company's downfall and primarily driven by the need to fund his expensive divorce, a consequence of his affair with stripper Melanie Fuel. This opportune sell-off, although coincidental, saved Pai from the financial disaster that hit many of his peers and helped him avoid the legal troubles that ensnared other Enron executives. Could his time working at the SEC have earned him any extra favors? Or were his old colleagues even more committed to bringing Pi down? After his departure from Enron and his divorce, Lou Pi's life took a new direction. He married Melanie Fuel, the former stripper with whom he had an affair and a child, a relationship that turned out to be a safety net from possible jail time and financial ruin. With his wealth secured, Pi embarked on a different venture, purchasing a massive tract of land in Colorado known as the Taylor Ranch. This included Culebra Peak, the world's largest privately owned mountain that the locals jovially nicknamed Mount Pi. This acquisition represented more than just Pi's wealth. It signified a drastic shift from the entanglements and drama of his corporate life in Houston to a new, different existence. Today, Lou Pai's lifestyle is a stark contrast to his Enron era. With his wife and daughter, he has retreated from the corporate spotlight. Their life has taken them from raising and training horses in Texas and Virginia to settling down in Florida to live a more subdued and family-focused life. Pie's move to Florida all but cements the corporate cowboy's ride into the sunset, and at 76 years old, we are sadly unlikely to see an encore performance. Lou Pie's life story reads like a modern epic, filled with sharp rises and dramatic falls. From a mathematically gifted student to a high-flying corporate executive, followed by personal and professional scandals and a subsequent retreat into a quieter life. His journey is a testament to the unpredictable nature of ambition, desire, and fate. Most of it still feels too coincidental. The SEC connection, the timing of his affair and the timing of his cash out amidst Enron's collapse. Was this an intricate web weaved by the genius strategist? 
or was this the wild luck of a free spirit? Either way, his story serves as a complex tapestry of success, debauchery, and redemption, reminding us that even in the chaos of life, it's possible to find a new path and a sense of peace.